Hey y'all, it's Scott McCreary and you're watching Certified Country with Sophie Chalacy. Happy Friday, welcome back to Certified Country. Today, we're hanging with two of my favorite reality TV alums, that is Scotty McCreary and Ray Lynn. And later, I've got a special treat for y'all in the form of an exclusive Brett Young video premiere. Now, I just met him for the very first time, and let me tell you, he is very tall and very handsome, so you're gonna wanna stick around for that one. But first things first, kicking it off with American Idol's season 10 winner. Scotty McCreary just signed a brand new record deal with Sony Music Entertainment's Triple Tigers Records after he made history with his new single. Can't you give me five? It's the first ever independently released song to chart on the Country Air Check Media Base Top 50. I met up with Scotty in Nashville to catch up over happy hour. The song's all about thinking back to, you know, past times. We just went through a whole lot of home video, 50 hours of home video and found like four minutes worth of it. That was good. And my favorite part of the whole thing is when it goes back to yearbook pictures of me and my girlfriend. Because yeah. we met in kindergarten, so it's our kindergarten picture there with both of us in it. And then it shows our prom picture and then us today, so. How is your girlfriend? She's good. She's yeah. having a good time today. I ain't heard from her, so that means she's having fun. Absolutely. Who does she get starstruck by? She saw Luke Bryan a couple years back, and yeah. uh, I introduced her to her. Her name's Gabi, uh -huh. and he said, oh, hey, Debbie. He just didn't quite <laughs> nail it, didn't quite nail it, but it was, it was hilarious. You're American Idol, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we got to talk about Idol yeah. coming back. Do you feel like it came back too soon? I personally thought I was going to be away for a little bit longer, but, uh, you know, hey, it's all good. I'm a fan of the show. Well, what do you think of Katy Perry as the new anchor judge? I'm all about it. I've always wanted to meet her, so really? hopefully they let me come back and, and uh, check out the show. So, uh, no, she's awesome. I mean, she's a huge star, and I think she'll give red advice. Now, are you going to be a part of it? Are we going to see you? They have to bring you back. If they give me a ring, I'll definitely check it out. I all think right. I'd be better. Folks are asking, like, would you be a judge? I think I'd be better as a mentor, like, okay. just kind of helping folks out. Looking back on that experience, what do you remember the most that was the most applicable piece of advice or wisdom that yeah. you learned on that experience? Uh, always have Jennifer Lopez around. <laughs> that, that, that's no, no. That is some American Idol stuff right there. That's, uh, that's fair. <laughs> I, I would love that. Uh, but no, I think it really was a boot camp for uh, for all of this. You know, this is a crazy business here in Nashville, and it's it never ends. It never stops. You got to work hard. You got to persevere. You got to wake up every morning being ready to go. And uh, it's ups and downs. You just got to keep on rolling. What was the worst part about being on Idol? Worst part about being on, on Idol? I would say I was there for about three to four months, and we had one day off the whole time. And so, and I want to go to a baseball game, and they wouldn't let me. So, <laughs> so, so that that was bad. But Uh, you know, I'll tell you what, in the last few months, I've really gotten into wine. Yeah. I, uh, I used to hate it, and, uh, you know, I think, you know, palates changed and everything. Started sure. with white wine, now I love red wine, so I kind of, uh, uh, everything's good by me. Now, this one is not on my list, but I'm just personally curious. One word to describe yourself after a few drinks. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Weird. Yay. Very cool. Thank you. Thank you. That was so much fun. That's the best interview I've had in we years. Oh, yay. Well, cheers to that. Scotty is working on his next album, and I'm told to expect it out sometime in 2018. In the meantime, of course, he is out on the road, and you can find all his tour dates up on his website. Meanwhile, an alum of Team Shelton over on The Voice, Ray Lynn hit number one on Billboard's Country Albums chart with her debut, Wild Horse, earlier this year. Now, she also just so happens to be truly one of the most fun people to interview. We gotta talk about your gems on your eye. I'm obsessed yeah. with that. I always forget, I always feel like it's an eye booger and I just want to get it out and I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's really a gem, so let's not take that. It looks cool. If it were me, I would have glitter just all over my face. I just yeah. put my face in glitter <laughs> and just come up. And I mean, anything that's sparkly or looks uh -huh. iridescent or like a unicorn, I'll, I'll really want it. I was just gonna say, I think your aesthetic is unicorn. Yes, like, quite yes, simply put. Yes. It's so funny, anytime I get a gift from a fan, I'm like, I'm guessing one out of 10 that something in here is definitely unicorn-like. You must have quite the unicorn collection growing <laughs> I right actually now. do. My husband was like, <laughs> we've gotta figure something out with all this stuff. So, last time we really sat down and talked, Wild Horse was coming out. We were so excited about it. Now, cut to number one debut. I know. How crazy is that? It's you know, when I see something like that happen, I just see all the hard work that I've done in the last five years pay off. Mm -hmm. And 
I've been working at this for so long, meeting you know, so many fans every night and planting seeds just every single day, whether it be a coffee date with a, you know, a new writer in town or meeting with a new producer or meeting a fan that's in town just because they were, you know, a fan of me since The Voice. Like, all these little seeds that I planted, they've all just grown and it's just cool to see, you know, it all come together with a number one record, you know, and, you know, it, it's, it, I can't even take the credit for it because it's the, because of the fans. I know you're always working on new music, yes. right? Yes, oh my god, I've already written a bajillion new songs. Yeah. Going through this new phase of life of being just madly in love and just my husband being gone and just growing so much together in, in that way, like I've just written so many awesome, like really cool love songs that I've never thought like that I could write and I'm, I'm really excited about them. I'm so happy for everything going on with you. You know Thank I love you. you. I love you. All right, the time has come for a certified country exclusive. I am so excited to give you guys a sneak peek of this acoustic performance from Mr. Brett Young. We also met up for a quick chat at the Ryman in between rehearsals for ACM Honors. Without further ado, here's Brett. You know, the inspiration behind Left Side of Leaving was just, you know, coming to the realization that breakups always seem to be unequally weighted and, um, and that everybody's probably been on both sides at some, at some point or another in their life. And, um, you know, the, the kind of interesting way that somebody who, you know, has their heart broken seems to behave after a breakup. In case you didn't know, baby, I'm crazy about you. Talk to me about the album as a whole. You know, I'm a songwriter first, and um, I wanted so badly for there to be this consistent theme throughout the record. And as we tried to do that, we started realizing that some of our favorite songs were getting left out. We finally decided, you know what, this is kind of the first time I'm introducing myself to the, like, the whole country music audience. Let's make a record that shows them who I am as a person, rather than trying to make this theme thread throughout the record. You know, just getting to hear songs. If you want to, you can get to know me a little bit. Hey, you have an interesting backstory, and you were originally an athlete. I played baseball um, all the way through college. Ended up hurting myself my junior year in college and um, not rehabilitating in time to come back and play. And, and uh, it was like through that process of trying to figure out, you know, when something that you think is going to be your whole life is taken away from you. Um, what's your outlet going to be now and, and that's when I really dove back heavily into music and started songwriting. Well it must be nice to be talented in multiple <laughs> capacities of life. When did you just or when did you discover that you really had an apt for songwriting? I wrote my first five records by myself. As good as that was for me in terms of like you know being cathartic and letting me work through some of my stuff mm -hmm. um, I wasn't really growing as a songwriter because there was nobody pushing me or pulling me outside of my comfort zone. It took me 10 years of songwriting to figure out that I needed help and uh, I'm so glad that um, I wasn't, you know, I didn't fight that too hard because, um, the, you know, the songs that we're turning out now um, are just, I'm so proud of them. To see the full acoustic performance of Left Side of Leaving, click over to etonline.com and look for the music section right up top. I gotta run because we are taking Certified Country on the road again next week. Do not miss it, you guys. I am serious. In the meantime, have a wonderful weekend and be sure to click like and subscribe for more. Bye for now.